This morning, officials are still trying to determine why. They say 29-year-old Corey Patterson, a 10-year employee at Tupelo Regional Airport, hopped into a twin-engine plane early Saturday morning and took off. Police say the first 911 call came from the suspect himself. Patterson from the aircraft calls Lee County 911 to tell them that he is going to crash this aircraft into the West Main Walmart. That call came in just after 5 a.m. and triggered a massive evacuation. Nearby businesses, homes, even major streets, all cleared. This map shows the plane's erratic flight pattern as officials on the ground tried by cell phone to talk Patterson down. They say Patterson, who had flight experience but officials believe was not a licensed pilot, at one point agreed to land the plane but did not know how. There were two pilots working together as a team. They were literally in direct contact with him and had him lined up. He was on his final approach, had gears down, and at the last minute aborted, decided to change his mind. He flew for more than two hours, talking by phone to his family, at one point even posting to Facebook. Sorry, everyone. Never actually wanted to hurt anyone. I love my parents and sister. This isn't your fault. Goodbye. When you saw that post, what did you think? Well, we also knew at the same time he was running out of fuel. So we knew that the plane was going to have to be coming down very soon. More than five hours and 50 miles from where it began, Patterson ultimately landed in this field where he was arrested. A stunning end to a flight that left thousands looking up in fear, including Tupelo Mayor Todd Jordan, who says at one point the plane flew directly over his house. What was the scariest part of today? I think just the unknown. Not knowing what the end result was going to be. Now, Patterson is now facing a number of charges, including grand larceny and terroristic threats. And we understand that there could possibly be more federal charges to come. Now, Willie, when I spoke with the chief, he told me that throughout that five hours, as they were speaking to Patterson by phone, he didn't appear to be upset or agitated. In fact, he was rather calm and somewhat apologetic. We understand that his family played a key role in helping talk him down. Willie. Just glad nobody got hurt there. Blaine Alexander in Tupelo, Mississippi. Blaine, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.